welcome back to another video. If you don't know, my name is Karina and I'm also known as the Artistic Newfie here on YouTube and other social media platforms. You can find all my links down below in the video description if you'd like to check those out for more content. I don't know what I'm getting up to this week. Uh, that's where I'm at. Um, but welcome to the video. Um, I do have a few things that I've recorded throughout the week, some sketching and what have you, so I'll put those in a little bit later. It is very gloomy in the studio today. It's um, trying to be sunny outside, but this room only has a little window, so it's hard to get some light in here. And I've been finding it very hard to record top, top down videos um, for artwork because there's always a shadow on my paper. Um, and my last light from the light box kit with the big umbrellas that I bought back in 2014. I know it's been a while. It finally gave out. So now I'm also left without, uh, so I'm left even without a heat lamp or heat lamp, a grow lamp, grow light for my plants back here. So um, they're not going to be getting as much light as I would like. But um, in this video, I want to try to make some keychains, do bits of artwork. Um, I've cleaned up the studio already this morning. So let's stop talking and let's go and see what we can get up to. I don't know why I'm holding my hands up like this, but um, yeah, let's get into the day and see what we come up with. So it is currently 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday. It's the 28th or the 27th, I believe. Let me just, I just want to check. It's the 28th. I had a few things come in the mail, and I just wanted to show you guys what it was. So I got a big old stack of coasters that I'm going to try to make with sublimation and sell them in the Etsy shop. So 
that's my plan for the next week or so. Um, the only thing is, let me just adjust this just a smidge. I apologize for the legs of the tripod being in the video. I'm working with what I got here and what I got is not very much. So <laughs> we're just going to deal with it. Um, we have 20 coasters. I'm going to assume I'm going to mess up a couple because I've never did, um, I've never done sublimation proper English this morning um, on this stuff before. So I don't exactly know if they're going to turn out or not, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So I have 20 of those. Hopefully at least 15 of them make it to the Etsy shop. Um, they might even come in handy for like mini Christmas gifts or something like that. Um, if they don't, and <clears throat> we have these two. Now I purchased this stuff with my own money, um, on Amazon. This is not uh, gifted by any companies or anything. So we have mouse mats. Uh, they're a little, oh God, they smell. Um, they're a little bit like thinner than what I thought they would be, but in all honesty, you don't need something that's really, really thick for a mouse mat anyway. I just, I don't have anything to go on these. So I have to try to design something to print on them. I'd like to have, I have 10 mouse mats. I want to keep one for myself. I know that for sure. So I want to design, um, something for me and then hopefully I'll have at least, um, I'm, I'm probably going to ruin one or two. I hope I don't, but if I do, then hopefully I'll have like seven, um, six or seven left to go up in the Etsy shop as well. So I just, I want to, um, branch out from just sticker making because not everyone's buying stickers. At least this is something that's, you know, you can put on your desk for show and it's still collecting art and it's useful. And not saying that stickers aren't useful at all. It's just, um, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. So it's more than just um, putting something on a sticker book or a laptop and putting it away. You can keep this out and, and look at it. So I want to create something that I really, really like on here. I have to do a bit of research because I don't know if this is something Thing that needs to be not so detailed in order for it to work. So that's something that I have to work out um, before I actually um, do any pressing. So look forward to this coming in. I'm going to probably do another shop update in the next couple of weeks um, because the last one didn't go so well. I got two orders. Um, and it's kind of sad because I put so much work into, you know, doing the, the Halloween stickers. Um, well, and I, you know, my patrons got two. So in, in total, there, there were four people that got my Halloween stuff. Um, so it's not bad, I guess. It's, it's better than, um, it, it wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess that's what I should say. But this is what's coming to the shop, hopefully in the next little bit. I also have something else that we're going to try to work on as well. Uh, and this is actually gifted by a company. So um, these are from bbcraft.com actually. And they're little tiny blanks. Now I've mentioned these before in um, an unboxing video um, a little while back. And what I thought was, um, I really don't want to have like ribbon or anything in these. And I don't know if I want them as all keychains. And I have like 20 of them, I believe. So what I thought was I do have little tags for like, um, charms and what have you. So I'm wondering how this would look with the vinyl and everything on there and um, with like a charm string rather than a keychain. And then these can just be hung off of a bag or something like that. We're gonna come back and uh, in a little bit and I'm gonna try to make uh, one of these. And if you're interested in getting them, if you like how they turn out or if you wanna do some experimenting for yourself, you can definitely um, check the description uh, of the video and the link for these and other things that um, bbcraft.com has sent me uh, will be down in the description. So um, I thought these are really neat and that's why I got them. And I haven't really done anything with them yet. So we're gonna see what they look like as charms and maybe I'll make a keychain chain too, uh, just to show you guys uh, what it could look like. So um, I got to go and design something for this. So stay tuned for a little bit later in the video and uh, we'll come back and we will make a keychain and a charm and see how they look. So I was trying to fashion something because I don't have any of those like tassels or anything that you can hang off of the side of the 
the keychains. Um, and I was trying to rig something up of my own and I thought it was really cute. I just, I don't know how to tie off the end down here where the, the clip is. And I don't have anything that I can fasten to the other end um, to make this work. But I have all the hardware and everything connected for, um, to hook on the blank after it's finished. Uh, so we may just have to look at this with the clip at the end and I'm gonna have to try to figure this out later because I have a lot of other things that I need to do today. Um, and I don't want to spend all day trying to create this like, little makeshift uh, addition to the keychains. Now these pieces here, these blanks, they have like um, an acrylic film over the back. I'm trying to get this out there this without scratching the piece. So this is just a little tool that I use for weeding out vinyl. Uh, so I'm just going to pull that off of one side like so. And that's on there so it doesn't get scratched up um, while it's being shipped. And any acrylic blanks that you get, uh, no matter where you get them from, they're all going to come with that film on there. And it's just a protection piece. So I'm just doing my best. I don't think it's on the back of this one because I can't hook into anything. Is it only on one side? No, nope, there it is. Oh, I hope I didn't scratch it. Wow, that's a little bit difficult to get off, to be honest. So hopefully I didn't scratch the other side. Oh, I didn't, good. Oh, yes I did. So this one here may not be any good. Hang on, let me see. If it gets covered up with the with the vinyl. No, I kind of ruined the top of that one. That's okay. We'll use this as, uh, as a practice piece. All right, guys, while we're waiting for the vinyl to cut, I've, n I've found that if you get right in here and hook right up in the top, it's a lot easier to peel these acrylic blanks. And then if you do scratch it just a tad bit at the top there, it's really not going to make that much of um, a big deal. So just go in and hook in right in the top, just like that. And it comes off really nice. So I've got four little uh, SVGs that I'm cutting out there. So I figured I might as well get four blanks ready and I'll keep the one that I have scratched up for myself. And uh, hopefully we'll have three keychains that we can do something with. All right, guys, so I've done a lot of cutting and I've had to move on to a different color of vinyl because the other vinyl that I was using wouldn't, it didn't cut, it wouldn't cut through. So I think I have it now. I just had to set my settings a little bit different on the um, Cricut. So I'm just gonna try this again. So I'm Still, I'm going to make one in this because it is getting ridiculously long, but let's go and try this out. I'm hoping this is going to fit. This might even be too big. I might have done all of this for nothing. Okay, guys, so I'm having a hard time cutting out the vinyl that I need, so I'm going to go ahead and see about putting this piece onto the actual acrylic. So, <laughs> oh, this day is just not going right for me. So I just got my transfer film. This is probably frisket paper. Um, I'm not really worried at the moment. Whatever picks it up.
because I had to go back in and cut out some more stuff and try a double sided one and doing this off camera and not having the pressure of trying to rush to make a video <laughs> it actually looks a whole lot nicer so this is um is this still was a bit of a hassle trying to cut out the read the vinyl um but it looks so much nicer when it's double sided so I can actually offer this one in the shop um i'm not going to sell these for any more than like two three dollars um so that's like without the etsy fees i mean uh, that's what i'm thinking so uh yeah that'd be a nice little add-on to packages if you're placing an order already and uh yeah i think it's really nice Right, guys i'm going to call the video done here for this week i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or comments or any ideas for videos that you would like to see from me in the future please leave them down below in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff i hate being the person to be able to keep having to say that at the end of the videos but youtube hasn't been nice to me the past little while and it's very hard for me to get um subscribers here on the channel and people watching my videos so it'd be really nice if you do like the content don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a like so i know that you like this kind of thing all right guys i'm gonna go and check on archer who's out there playing with the cat and uh i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the weekend and do some things for myself and i hope you guys are doing the same all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.